my god. She's become obsessed with her favorite treat. The salmon oil and she knows where it is. No, yeah, maybe not now. Maybe now it's exploring time. It was the salmon oil though. Now it's basically everything up here. Her entire storage space for toys and trinkets and also things we want them to stop messing with like this. You're naughty, Kira. <laughs> yeah. Great. She's learned. Come here. Naughty. Excuse my shirt being off. It's really early in the morning. I just kind of woke up. I've got shorts on though, okay? <laughs> but I wanted this. Caspian's over there just being a spaz. Look at my little Kira. She's gotten so good. We are truly tightly bonded now. I can pick her up and she just kind of melts. Look at that. You know, a couple months ago I couldn't get you to sit still. I mean, you were you were getting used to me, but this is truly something special. The only thing that kind of worries me is that she's been really really tired lately. Like I let her out this morning. And it took a little convincing, but she woke up. Caspian's right on the gun, and he'll stay up for three, four hours. But she kind of is like, she'll burn about 40 minutes of energy, and she'll just go back to bed. So I'm a little concerned. But uh, she's certainly taken love. She basically is underfoot the whole time. Caspian is too. He, he certainly doesn't know his own size. He likes to stand right next to you cooking, cleaning, taking the garbage out, whatever it is. I gotta watch out for him because he likes to stand right underfoot. But she's kind of doing the same thing. She's been following me a lot lately. Last night I had you basically doing the same thing. I was sitting on the laying on the couch watching TV. She came up to my feet. I scooped her up, laid her on my chest, and she just went to sleep. So, I hope she's feeling okay. You're too young to be having old ferret problems. You just like your home, huh? You just like your home. You yeah. know. What an adorable little duke. Unfortunately, I lost a video that I was going to post for them. I'm going to have to get them to do it again. I had a nice video of the ferret tube wars. Kira is quite the little badass in the tubes. She pushes Caspian out despite his jaw being bigger than her mouth, than her whole head. <laughs> despite the fact that he can fit her whole face in his mouth, um, she always ends up managing to push him out of the tube. So the next time they start that kind of adventure, I'll try to bring you guys along. Yeah, you're tired. Why are you so tired? Why are you so tired, girl? I think we need to get you on some different diet stuff, because that could have something to do with it. I certainly hope that you're uh, not experiencing some kind of health issue. You're kind of slinking on me here. <laughs> Where are we going, Kara? She was running around for about the first 10 minutes out of the cage. Caspian was chasing her. There's all this junk all over my house because it's basically the ferret playground. Eventually we'll burn some of these boxes, my goodness. But for right now, I've noticed that into the darkness we go. I've noticed that the more boxes you have, the less the ferrets seem to care about the stuff that's actually important to me. <laughs> right, Caspian? 
it's kind of the uh, game of too many objects for them to, you know, take in, so they go after the crappy ones. Speaking of crap, thanks, buddy. I already cleaned this up like 10 minutes ago. I guess this is a good time to demonstrate my recommendation for Life with Ferrets. Also, we managed to get Caspian to enjoy Alaskan salmon oil now. Now he seeks it out. Kira seeks it out so much she climbs her cage for it. So, I take a microfiber cloth. We clean up that nastiness. We wash the cloth out. We douse that area with isopropanol. And the rest is history. Right, Kiki? Looks like you're feeling a little better now. Life with ferrets is quite a messy thing. I see you guys have been into the cat bowl. <laughs> you may notice Allie's water bowl is not here. Hey, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You guys are terrible. Terrible about how big you are. I almost kicked you across the floor a little butt. Anyway, when you live with ferrets, you got to have a nice easy way to clean up after them. And honestly, the microfiber cloth is my solution. We basically have a dedicated cloth for it, isopropanol. Because napkins and paper towels and toilet paper cleanup, that all gets expensive. It's a lot. I mean... The only other method is to get them to use a box, but Caspian and Kira have both decided that this is not their favorite thing. They don't even want to pay it any mind, no matter what I've done. I've tried the whole leaving some of their left behind in there, and it doesn't, they don't care. <laughs> it's not comfortable to go to the bathroom in, huh? No, it's not comfortable. Caspian says, no, it's in the way. So the only other solution that I can think of is a larger box, or <laughs> as gross as it is, a piece of plexi platform or something to lay down long enough, big enough that they don't notice they're on top of it. Because I swear, if a ferret knows that you're trying to get it to do something like that, they will almost, <laughs> out of spite, not do it. At least my two. It's kind of like our adventures in the stove, which... It's his favorite thing to do now. Oh yeah, I'm talking about that, Caspian. Absolutely. You want to show the audience? <laughs> you want to show them? Do you want to show them what you like to? Yep. Well, I'll let them do it. I'm gonna let them do it. <laughs> Originally, Kira did that used to do this, but she kind of stopped. She kind of knew that I didn't want her to do it. But he doesn't care. We're sitting over there watching TV. And this is what he likes to do. And today Kira's gonna go with him. And that is the sound that happens while we're watching TV. Yep. Do, 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 do. All right, guys, get out. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes, your favorite. Here we go again. Hello. Caspian, I know you got your own idea here. But, uh, not today, buddy. No, 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 no. There's nothing in there for you. There's nothing in there. And he'll go again. He'll do this about four or five more times, and then he'll try to find something else to do. Nope, not today. Okay. In fact, that's the best way, if a ferret's doing this kind of thing and it's bugging you, to deal with it, is to just give them something else to do. He'll forget about it. Yeah. Yeah, what is that thing? What it isn't is an oven. And that's, you know... That's where I prefer. Yep, what it isn't isn't the oven drawer. It is not the oven drawer, and that's what we prefer, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. 
and we're not going in the oven. Woohoo! You're both thinking about going to sleep in the wool blanket, huh? That's adorable, Caspian. I guess Kira doesn't mind you sleeping directly on top of her either. <laughs> Well, it's always nice when you guys choose to go to bed next to me. That lets me know that you trust me. So That's how you know if your ferrets love you. If they decide to sleep near you, they love you. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that.